Mogisalmo bit mega vreba. Is aris gada se makrip to bazari. Kovel te tor medzi ansot amere shabat kuiris karda. Da shegak se neptrom chweni geren general uri sponsori aris script alist rapi marte vida usa putxoda chem is pira di azritats saukat eso birja sakar tualoshi. Da dres gada se mashis tumrat kuq alba NFT bis experti digital world shit snobi logor zander kongi. Da magu kolba real urada trasa kete psa nu tshawre bashi soka tenft abis hal khits no bili arian khome digital virtual ur sam karoshida real real ur real urad nu mete soba saris no psa rab. Ta chwe ne khagau chtopt ander kong zanu ilia orlos. Ta gade se maikne ba English urad. Hello man, how are you doing? How are you feeling, man? Hi man, it's it's a pleasure to be here with you guys. I've sure. been in Belize for two weeks, and it has been just phenomenal time man. for me. Tell them who you are, what you do. So get, yeah, get to know people them. in the crypto and NFT community know me as Under Kong. It's like when the underdog and King Kong they met and they had they were fell in love and they had a baby. So <laughs> the Under Kong is their Kong. baby, right? But in real life, my name is Ilya Orlov. Uh, I was born in Ural Mountains and I've studied in Switzerland. I grew up there. And now I'm traveling all around the world working for a Swiss blockchain company. We are doing uh, different solutions for cryptographic security in IoT, in Internet of Things. And uh, practically, my department is in charge of uh, launching an NFT marketplace for industrial product designers. But that stuff is pretty complicated, so I would prefer yeah. to talk more about like NFT collections and NFT boom and hype. Yeah, honestly, man, there's like a lot of people that are watching us. They just know like maybe some crypto stuff, trading stuff, but I think NFT space is a little bit complicated for them. So if we can explain as like the new buy people, like what are NFTs? What, what, what's it's, the NFT? it's 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 a great question. We should yeah. definitely start here. So, when I first started, like to get deep into NFT space, it's like in the beginning the hardest thing is to like to to understand what's going on there because you see this this big big numbers, right? You see this crypto punks being sold for millions yeah. of dollars, and then you think like. I mean, this is just insane. This is either a scam or it's like some kind of a trick or it's just fucking bullshit and people are like crazy there, right? Like doing this. Uh, but as soon as you start to get deeper and deeper into crypto Twitter, to get deeper into the community, uh, you start to like kind of understand the sense of it. So the main, the main like idea behind that is like you are not just like buying a GPEG, you are owning the original version of it, which is signed by the creator yeah. and which gives you something special. You either getting, it's like, for example, if you own a CryptoPunk right now, you are getting an access to the most closed and privileged and VIP community in the crypto. Oh yeah, for that definitely. Man. Yeah, sure. and many other projects, they build uh, play to earn games. So when you buy their like, uh, one of their NFTs from their collection. It's like you're buying an, a game character for yourself. Yeah. Man, I like, what's the funny thing is when my like new buy friends, like new buy crypto friends, uh, they're seeing that this NFT is getting like selling for millions of dollars. And one of my friends literally just like made his own like simple stuff and he's like trying to sell it for like 10,000 and he thinks like just because others sold it, he can like. That's what's complicated in the NFT space. Like, if you don't have a project, if you don't have like real use case roadmap, everything you, you cannot sell anything, man. Absolutely. So, here's the new question that that was born in my mind: Why do people buy NFTs? So, uh, I remember 2017. I was doing my first blockchain startup back then uh, by the name Travel Chain. You can Google about it. Travel Chain and Ilya Orlov. You will find a lot change. of. It was like a backend for the for, for the travel applications and like travel blockchain for the travel industry. So back then, uh, there were a couple. The, you remember in 2017, the first hype uh, about NFTs happened when the oh, Crypto yeah. Kitties were released, right? It was like a game, uh, so you could breed them and, and do some. It was like some kind of like Tamagotchi based on NFT. So I mean, I remember back then everyone was laughing. At, I mean, at all these NFT projects which were trying to to repeat the script the kitties, and. 
I remember OpenSea was there, and uh, the co-founder of uh, Rarible, it's like the one of the most uh, famous um, NFT marketplaces out there in the market right now, Rarible.com. Uh, his co-founder is like a Russian guy, and uh, like we know him. And and back then in 2017, everyone was like, man, like. Why, why are you dealing with these stupid JPEGs? No, no one gonna buy them, you know? But then it turned out in the end that people buy them like crazy. And the main reason behind that is that people love to own stuff, right? Yeah. I mean, you can sure. also copy a Mona Lisa and put it in your room. I mean, but it's not going to be the original Mona Lisa. There is only like one person or organization. And it's or easier fund. to prove with the blockchain that it's yours. It's easier to yeah. prove. It's easier to transfer, right? Everything and so crazy. on. It's you can even like monetize it in the future, and so on and so on. So there's so yeah. much stuff I you can like do. I think like physical with. paintings are not going to be anything in the future. It's all digital, man. It's going to be all mixed up, I believe. You know. Yeah. yeah. Man, how to buy and sell the NFTs? Explain to them. This is your camera. You can explain to them. So, how can they buy and sell? Hello, guys. <laughs> Finally, I, I know the, the camera which is filming me right now. <laughs> so, uh, there are various ways to buy NFTs. The main platform, the main marketplace is, of course, OpenSea, right? But we, before we talk about how to buy NFTs and where to buy NFTs, we need to define which types of NFTs exist there in the market. So, we have, like, let's say, two main types of NFTs. It's some kind of a unique art which is created by like visual artists, right? Uh, which is sold like only in one uh, copy, like the original digital copy of it. And there are NFT collections, right? For example, 10,000 pieces which are generated using the Python code written on Python and they, they just draw, let's say, 50 or 100 or 150 different traits and then the code mix them up together and then yeah, you get this random, like right? randomly generated 10,000 uh, NFTs. So uh, if, we would, if we would talk about like the visual art uh, and who's buying it, right? Like, I mean, for example, uh, like this, there, there are also people who were buying Banksy before, of course, and there are also young, like young crypto millionaires yeah. who are supporting artists. Yeah. So it's almost impossible to resell some kind of like unique art which is which you are buying. M like in the most cases, people just buy them because they kind of like made a huge profit, or they're artists themselves and they sold something super expensively. So they kind of like bring it back to the community and they buy like works from other young uh, artists. So it's kind of the story more like it's a luxury luxury part of the whole NFT game, right? And we have also NFT collections. That's where the whole action is happening. Oh, yeah. That's, I mean, everyone is trying to repeat the, the fame of and the success of CryptoPunks, right? I mean, Board, Ape, a Yacht Club, well, they almost did it. Uh, yeah, that's why also, I also bought like ETC Punks and they said that we are the next CryptoPunks. So yeah, everybody is <laughs> just like trying to follow the... Yeah, I mean, they had, they, they, like, not so long ago, there were crypto punks, they were just, like, turned around, right? Like, it's yeah. absolutely the same collection, but, like, turned around, and the floor went, like, up to, like, one ETH or something, or even higher. I'm, I wasn't watching that, that thing. I mean, it's just, like, the whole market right now, it's always a mix of speculants, like, hamsters, uh, like, bad scammers, uh, whales with big money and everyone wants to, 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 to take his profit from the market right and that's and some people are just crazy and <laughs> don't know what I mean, they're there's doing. There's also smart scammers that we gotta like I mean I mean we, we gotta definitely for. watch out and yeah. like do your own research always guys D-Y-O-R but I mean it's also like in the end of the way in, in the end of the day I was thinking that I mean all of them they are creating the action. I mean, when there is a new collection, of course, there are like, by the way, there are two types of NFT collectors on the market. It's interesting. Uh, the first type uh, has the name of diamond hands, and the second oh, one is yeah. paper hands, right? <laughs> paper hands. That's same, same in just normal crypto space. People yes. that sell instantly, yeah. Yeah, so it's just paper hands, they're there only for the money, and uh, diamond hands, they're like, you know, the true believers, the ones who are holding the NFTs for a long I time. I think, like, some people that claim to be diamond hands are also, like, paper hands, because we all need money. I money, mean, that's yeah. that's how humans are, yeah. you know, like, they yeah. combine uncombinable. <laughs> they exactly, say something, exactly. but they don't believe, and the other way around. But I will, I definitely can say one thing. The, the, the answer, like, the truth is 
in the middle. It's yeah. like it's about balance. Like don't be too naive. Don't like the, the crypto winter is coming. Make your profit, you know, like, like, exactly. like start your own project with that money, you know, like, or like educate yourself or go travel around the world. But don't be too naive and don't, don't, don't think it's like a digital revolution and it's going to change the world. It's not. It's just the same human story with the new technology. It's much cheaper to transfer, to store, and, and, and to do different stuff with it, and much more uh, interoperable and interactive. But it's kind of still the same story. It's the same Homo sapiens story. That's yeah, my exactly. vision. Yeah, like, exactly. It, it reminds me of this, like, people that think that, like, pool cycle is going to last longer just because it's different times. But it's just same times, man. Like, but I think it's also interesting. Uh, we, by the way, we have been talking with you about this on the NFT yeah. meetup that uh, this time period might be a little, a little longer. It might be true, but it's maturing. Like exactly. cycles are maturing. Exactly. Exactly. More smart money yeah. kicks in yeah. the yeah. market, and yeah, yeah. yeah. more people know, are in. Yeah. Infrastructure is bigger, and and you're definitely right. So, but guys, do your own research always, and. Use your heart as well, not only your mind, you know, that's yeah, both. both, both, balance again. And so, yeah, I just wanted to finish quickly this, uh, to answer this question. Uh, so you buy, like, if you're going there for the NFT collections, you should go to OpenSea. Uh, and maybe you should also check maybe like uh, some NFTs on Solana protocol, but it's main NFTs are definitely on Ethereum. Man, on Solana, a lot of my friends got scammed. On, on Ethereum Solana as projects, well. No, as, as well. But I was I was also pretty unsuccessful. I jumped into Solana, into a couple of collections. They were. So I think Solana is cheaper. Not. So scammers want like cheap. They don't want to pay a lot of money. It's it's that. a very very interesting uh, point that you said right now. Somehow, like according to human psychology, yeah. the NFTs which are created an NFT with like two three hundred bucks of paid gas, they kind of have a bigger value in people's minds yeah exactly you know? man. even though even though in the reality it doesn't almost cost anything like pro like just because the ethereum is overloaded and the gas is so expensive right it doesn't like it's it's not normal situation it's going to change but for now for people that makes sense it's just like yeah, I don't know. this is the same thing with the shit coins. Like when, like most of the projects on like smart chain is scam because it's super cheap to create a coin. But like the the ones that on Ethereum blockchain, this guy spent so much money, so much money on just creating. It's just not like yeah, well, they don't want to yeah. risk it to like scam people, you know. Exactly. I mean, but also you also should always be careful about like, let's say. I call it like a not planned scam. When there is just a young team, too oh, naive, they don't know what too ambitious, doing. it works out because the market is crazy. They even get, they might even have some investments from the angel in the beginning, but then they just, they just like ruin it all do, because man. it's just they're too young. I mean, yeah. but I've been through that. It's also it's a natural way, but I mean. But they're definitely different from, from these bad scammers guy, you know, who, who planned it, like, yeah, you know, yeah. to steal everything. I've, I've also seen projects like that when they're like, oh, we are sorry, we didn't want to do this on purpose and all that stuff. Yeah, you never know, man. What's uh, I, regarding this topic, I want to show you something very interesting, guys. Yeah, uh, well. Let me go to OpenSea and show you one collection. Um, just a second. Oh my God, my internet is off. <laughs> you, you can you can go to mine. Yep. Just like then iPhone 13, it's gonna save there. Just let's see. Okay. We are sorry, guys. Anyway, let me show you my main Twitter. It uh, works. Right now, I mean, because I have uploaded it before, but uh, let me get my phone just. Hey, sorry, I'm just tweeting. I'm going to go to the phone. 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 So, we got the internet. Um, So on OpenSea, I was aping in. Like to ape in something, it's like to buy a yeah, lot of buy, NFTs yeah. of one type. To after getting two the phrases, right? Uh, yeah. Ap in. After getting the, this this FOMO, the fear of missing out. So there was this collection called Crypto Ghosts. Oh, I've seen this. Um 
some like a ghost NFTs. It was like made by this guy who has like wearing the mask. You don't know it. No. Uh, there's a famous guy wearing just like. I mean, there like are a couple of collections mask. which which are uh, oh, this is different. Which yeah, are yeah. ghosts. So these guys, they 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 call right now. Oh, I mean, yesterday you could get them like for literally zero. So they were like, they, the, the no price. You just pay the gas and and, oh, and, and you get them. I, by oh. the way, I think it's great because it's like that kind of like it has that kind of a uh, crypto punks vibe. You know, you can get them for free. I mean, right now the price is like I don't know one dollar or something. So it's almost nothing. So can we still get it for cheap? It's they are all minted, and after they were minted, straight away the team has disappeared. Straight after that, they 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 got the money for for the minting. And then they straight away disappeared. Why, wh how did they get the money? If, I mean, they were they were selling their collection of ten thousand pieces. They were they sold free. them. No, no. They, in the beginning, you should have paid for them like oh, one hundred fifty dollars okay. or two hundred dollars, like zero point zero five, I believe, Ethereum's, right? So people were buying them from the team, also paying a high gas cost to to the network, to the miners, right? Who is holding the decentralized Ethereum yeah. network? So straight after they have sold the whole connect collection. They have just disappeared, and then like I mean, the people were like angry and, and like you know calling them scammers. But then I've read the description of the project: crypto ghosts are the first collection of those who got wrecked in crypto. <laughs> it's like you know, it's like a modern art. It was like it was meant to be like this. <laughs> oh, so they were meant to be this holy shit. Can you imagine this? I mean, this is this is. So just, did they uh, leave the project? For they the just draw, yeah, they they sold them and they just practically you know you could call it a scam, but I see I see some kind of an art like thing in it. I, I don't know. And yeah, I don't blame you because there's a lot. I've seen a lot of girls like calling art to some like dumb shit. So we can call this art too, you know? No, I mean, in the beginning, Project Post looking it's crazy. Interesting. They were super active. They were doing advertising. I know. wanted to, is it, is it like two, worth to buy it? Two again? months, two months, it's two months old. I don't know. I mean, you never know. Because the, the great thing about NFT is that even if the team disappears, the community yeah. can take yeah. them and build a game, for I've example, with them. A lot of things can in this, like, as I told you, we talked about it, shitcoin space, and uh, like NFT space, like are like each other. Like um, I've seen a lot of shitcoin projects that got wrecked by the team, just like scammed, rock pulled by the team. And there's like community on the Telegram, Twitter, or whatever. They just like uh, messaging to each other and like staying together. And they're the ones that, because you know what is a ownership renowned like when. When they renounce the ownership, that means they cannot do anything with the code. So they just like leave the project and like community is taking the project and like doing their own thing. And I've seen like successful projects like that. So I think in the NFT space, this is going to be the first one. Yeah. Well, let's see, man. The, that is super interesting. And I also have story. another very interesting story about another kind of NFT. Uh, here, like, as, as you remember, this first type of NFTs, this unique art from, from visual artists. So, um, if you could show my screen uh, to yep. our audience, would be great. So, everyone is welcome to follow Papa Sweets. Uh, it's the guy from Russian prison. It's an a first ever NFT artist who is dropping NFTs on foundation on the most privileged marketplace in the market. Uh, Straight out of the prison, man. Yeah, this is I mean, super. This guy is cool. a designer. He was working on the Russian darknet marketplace. I think you know what I mean, guys. Uh, and it was like the first one. Uh, and then he was caught. Uh, he was caught with some uh, 420. Uh, he was mainly working as an admin, but then he decided also to get some more, uh, like, uh, to, to, to raise his salary a bit. So he was kind of doing this, you know, like hitting yeah. these packs, right? So he was caught. He has three kids. He was a designer. He's like super, like educated guy from from a good family, like creative guy. And then, he, like they were asking for ten years, and oh, and he damn. received, I think six or seven something like this. And then, during his first three years in the prison, he was studying the criminal law, and and he managed to, to 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 get the attention from from like the highest uh, court in Russia, and like they 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 made his regime easier so like it became it became a bit longer but right now he's like living in the conditions where he's just working every day 
uh, baking bread, like on, 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 yeah. on, on the bread uh, fabric, and uh, and he's, he's a, he has also connection to the internet, and he's allowed to use his uh, iPad. And I saw this guy in the Russian NFT community, which is called NFT Bastards. Like sometimes we, I really think they're all bastards. <laughs> I don't, they're not cool guys. I don't know. Something is wrong with Russians. They're like uh, I mean, all of us. We are a little bit broken. All post-Soviet Union people, but I hope. Yeah. It, I hope Same shit with yeah, Georgia. Yeah, man. I hope it's going to be better. We, but we know. Anyway, I saw this guy there, and and he was posting something, and I was like, what the fuck? Like, is he in prison or what? And I asked him like, uh, so after he told me his story. I became like kind of his manager. I'm like promoting him and managing him, and I helped him to finalize his arts. Um, he was just doing some like 2D animation stuff, and I told him that we gotta we gotta make it like you know yeah. it's gotta move somehow. Like we, we gotta add, like you know give some add some movement uh, to to the art. And uh, so and can you show my screen again? That's uh, his. Uh, Practically, his page on the foundation. Its foundation is the most. Yeah, that art's super cool. The second one I love the most. So the yesterday, yes, after like this, the guys from Coinbase got interested. They have 2.2 million followers on Twitter. Oh, they okay. wrote about us. I mean, it's like super expensive to get there if yeah, well, if it's possible course, at yeah. all. And they just wrote about us for free because I mean the story is just amazing and. Yesterday we sold, uh, I mean, Papa Sweets, uh, he sold his first NFT for almost $3,000 for 0 0.667 ETH. And uh, according to our split smart contract, he's getting one third. I'm getting one third because I was uh, investing uh, in, in the whole project. Yeah. Like I was paying for everything, for minting, for listing, for, for promotion. In, in, in like in, on, on different accounts in, in Twitter uh, but the main like let's say the main speciality here is that one third from each drop he, there will be 72 works which gonna be sold till he is going out out of the prison in one and a half years and one third from each sale will go to the Russian non-profit organization which protect human rights in Russian prisons. That's amazing, man. And they, the, the main thing they do, they help the kids of imprisoned people because they are the, the ones who are suffering the most and yeah. Uh, yeah. Man, congratulations on your first sale. That's like what, when I saw that picture, like the art itself, I loved it. Literally super beautiful. Like I really appreciate what you what you just like told us the whole story, super amazing. I I, I know people are gonna love that, and like show some love to his Twitter guys. Yeah, that you would cannot be great. find the same story. Could we maybe put the my screen again? Uh, yeah. to show it to our audience. This is the Twitter of Papa Sweet. So. All your likes, retweets, and comments are appreciated a lot. We're gonna send pluses to your karma. I'm gonna send out coin. I'm gonna get carried coin desk. Now, me or it's a post. I'm here to visit. Me or it's a post. I'm gonna send it. Because I'm gonna send a post. It's a big amount of dollars. And one, one last thing that I want to show you guys. I think we don't have so much time, but I was for two weeks in uh, Tbilisi and I've managed to organize two NFT meetups to visit one NFT exhibition and to visit one more crypto meetup and also we have uh, created like a telegram group chat uh, about NFTs and DeFi uh, it's like a Tbilisi community uh, the base camp is an impact hub in Fabrica I think you all know this place. Uh, so yeah, uh, you can scan the QR code, join our Telegram, and talk about NFTs and DeFi there. Mm -hmm. And yeah. whenever someone is going to Istanbul, because that's where I am located and my team, uh, you are all welcome. You can contact me through the Telegram group chat, and uh, I will meet you there, guys, and show you around. Uh, let's build a strong community, because apes together strong. <laughs> apes strong, <laughs> apes man. together strong, man. <laughs> Uh, guys, it's uh, Q1, it's got 
და თითო მერე თავისი მითაფიც გააკეთა NFT-ების, მე როგორც იცით და რა ვით ვინს ჩემ ლაივს უყურებთ ხოლმე NFT-ებზე არ არ მაქვს დიდი ინფორმაცია, ანუ ვი როგორც ეს ინფორმაცია ხარ ათქმა და მაქ მე რა ის ღრმა და არ ვარ ჩართული, ბო მაქ სფეროში რო აი რაღაც ვიყიდო ის გაუყიდო რაღაც და ძალიან საინტერესო იყო ბევრი დიდი ინფორმაცია მე ვიღე და ამას მას რა თქმა ტრეიდინგზე და ზოგადად ჩარტის ანალიზზე მე ვიღეთ ჩემგან ინფორმაცია და რა ვი ტვიტერიც და აფოლოვეთ და თუ ინფორმაცია გაინტერესებთ კიდევ ერთხელ გეუნებით კიუ არის და ასკანი ღეთ და ტელეგრამზე ტელეგრამის ჩატში დაჯოინდი თუ რამ დაგაინტერესებთ ინგლისურად იკითხეთ გაცემთ პასუს პრობლემას არ იქნება მენ I wanted to add something like in the very very end uh yeah, sure. uh it was my first time in Georgia I felt in love with this place the energy and the vibe the young generation have here it's just unbelievable guys crypto is your future crypto is the only way how we can change our countries and show to this old conservative guys how the real world should be managed and organized so let the force be with you guys thank you very much the bolos ragatsas daomatep ბიტკოინზე ძალიან ცუდი დამპი იყო ბიტკოინის მარა ესეთი დამბები საჭიროა ქვემოდან ლიკვიდურობა წამოვიღოთ და რაღაცა არ არ შეშინდეთ ჩემი აზრით არ უნდა შეშინდეთ რა და ისე მგონია რომ 70-ისკენ მივდივართ ჩემ პირადი აზრია ფინანსური შევა არ არის თქმა უნდა და რაღაცა დღეს ამით დაგემშვიდობებით ალბათ და კიდე ერთხელ შეგახსენოთ რომ ჩვენ გადაცემის სპონსორია კრიპტალი სტრაფი მარტივი და უსაფრთხო და საუკეთესო ბირჟა კრიპტო ბირჟა საქართველოში რა